If you have a special educational need or disability, your school must remove barriers to learning and put support in place for you. This extra support should be based around a graduated approach. The school will assess the support you need, put a plan in place, do what's been put in place and then review your plan. Every school will have a SENCO. This is the Special Educational Needs Coordinator who oversees the support. But what actually happens at each stage of the graduated approach? In the assessed stage, teachers identify the children and young people who are not making the expected progress. They will find out what a young person's strengths and needs are. The assessed stage is important to find exactly what the barriers to learning are. This information is then used to help in the plan stage. The young person, family and school will then agree achievable outcomes and what support is needed to meet these. A date for the actions and plan to be reviewed should be agreed and this should not be more than one term. The support the school puts in place will be different for each young person and will be tailored based on the individual's development and progress. Schools in Leeds get funding in their budgets to provide additional support for pupils. However, if more provision is required, schools can apply for funding for inclusion via the local authority. After plans have been created, they are then put into practice during the do stage. The agreed support will be put into place. The support needs to be working for the young person and can be adapted at any point. It is important that schools make sure that all the staff who work with the young person are aware of their needs and what they can do to help them. This could be communicated to everyone by using a document called an individual provision map. Once the support has been in place for the agreed amount of time, the next stage is review. Evidence is gathered to see if the support is helping the young person to progress. Once the support has been reviewed, it will be agreed what needs to continue and what needs to change. If the school is unsure how to best support a pupil, they should ask for help from outside agencies. The recommendations given should be included in the child's plan as part of the graduated approach. If the young person hasn't made progress with the plans that have been put in place, the school or family may then request an education, health and needs care assessment. Schools will need to evidence that they have completed all four stages of the graduated approach before an EHC needs assessment is completed. If you are concerned about your child's development, you need to speak to the class teacher or school SENCO and then make a plan together. The EHC process is overseen by SENSAP which stands for SEN, Statutory Assessment and Provision. You can find out about SENSAP at leadslocalauthor.org.uk.